Welcome to this look at a new mod map to Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Attingham Park returns with a bang from GB Modding. Strap in, this is 509.23 megabytes download, but the quality is phenomenal. This is up there with six ashes and some of my favourite maps from FS19. Well, a lot of my GB Modding, GB and Oxygen David. So, where do we start? We start up here at the hotel now i'm going to start off by saying that this is for all intents and purposes the same map not a lot has changed with respect to where things are however within that a lot has changed within the fact we've now got production chains and those have been intertwined so cleverly into the map plus the farms that are available to buy we don't start with the farm um well, you'll see as we go around. That's been very cleverly done as well. Uh, I'll talk about the slot count later on. We start with one vehicle that we own. Again, I'll explain a little bit more in detail about that later on. So we've got a pickup. That's it. Uh, what was I going to do next? Contracts are available on the map, as you'll see. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to do. Um, I need to put some money in. Because as we go around, I'm going to buy up a few different places because there's things I want to show you as we go around but what we'll do we'll start with the map as we always do on new farmer we start with this the bga that was how it was on the previous version um as a newcomer to the agricultural uh, to agriculture in the area you've got a job at the local bga which luckily has some equipment you can use but that comes at a price we also have field 35 which is a grass field with a bit of forestry in the corner so for doing work at the BJ, you can cut some grass and do what you need to, and you can run the BJ if you want to. And that's all you start with. Field prices vary from like 44 grand there for field 31. Then we kind of work our way up and try to find a sort of mid-sized field, maybe that one there at 456,000. Then a pretty big one like field 16 at 735. We're not into millions. It's you know, it's yeah, you know, big money. Field nine's not too bad over there, 20 grand. So it's looking pretty good now. Because on New Farmer, you do start with the biogas plant. Down here on Productions, you've got the biogas plant there. And what you also find when you go to animals is you've got this here. Those animals are at the livestock market. Now, on the previous version, a lot of people have messaged me to say, oh, you can access them, you can take the animals out. I never managed to be able to do it, but I'll show you when we get down there. I'll show you things there. They've got water and feed maxed out completely, so they'll be fine pretty much forever, and they'll just chug along doing what they do. Um, but it just gives you a kind of more live situation to be looking at really uh what we'll do is go around the corner here because here at the hotel you start with the doormat that's your sleep trigger up here at the hotel that can be sold um as far as mods go the hotel sell point we've got just around the back here But as far as things that have been added in by GB Modding, the map maker, uh, if we go down and look at sheds, we've got quite a lot of stuff here. So if we get to about there, you'll see all across the bottom, there's all these different sheds and buildings that have all been put in. Now, be warned, when we talk about something later on, um, the animal pens aren't available. Silos, we've got um, a manure heap. Now, that's got 360 degree rotation because a lot of the manure heaps are in 90 degree chunks. That one you can rotate around so you can place wherever you want. That's nice, helpful to have. I don't think we've got any under extensions or containers or tools, I don't think. Farmhouses, there's the Attingham Park farmhouse doormat. Uh, productions, I'm trying to think now. I did all the prep last night, so I'm recording this this morning. I had a mare yesterday. Oh, I'm not going to go into detail, but my concussion appears to have faded. I slept well. Uh, the government subsidy sign I've put in, because I'm going to need that. Uh, so animals, cows, horses, pigs, sheep, chickens, bees. No. So that's something you have to be careful of if you do move anything. There's nothing under decoration but landscaping. And the painting, we've got quite a few textures. There's asphalts, then we've got concrete ones there that have got like uh, grid lines on them. So more like slabs. Like, um, and then we go across. There's quite a lot of textures been put in. I don't think there's anything under trees and plants, if I recall. Pretty much standard stuff. And I think the same with plants. There we go. Right. Let's get crack a lacking. I'm going to walk the first bit just to show you. 
as we can walk the first bit. Then we'll jump in our trusty pickup and we'll head around the map. So, in through here, we've got our machinery store. The machinery store is just over there. We'll get to that in a second. Over here, we've got a uh, buy, buy point, purchase point. This is new. This wasn't here on the previous version. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to avoid saying that a lot. I know I do it all the time. But um, if we go into our menu, go up to our prices and you scroll down you can see on the right hand side already purchase point there so anything that comes up with purchase point on the right hand side you can buy from that point and the price is actually pretty good they're cheaper than you can sell them for so yeah you could do a dodge if you wanted to and there's quite a few things but there's a purchase point there we've got over here urban sheep clothing now this was on the previous version but this is what i was talking about this has been integrated so well with the production system whereas sometimes you get maps where basically just the map's been remade and they'll plonk down the new cell points or they'll do some modification on them these have been completely integrated so we can go in as we used to see we've got the bolts of fabric and stuff on here as well which is brilliant that kind of fits in so nicely the door here still opens from the inside and the delivery point is here but as a production chain, this is your spinnery. So your urban sheep clothing store, and then your pallets will spawn out the front there. So the spinnery has been put in there. It's all really, really well integrated. The workshop trigger is here for the machinery, uh, for the vehicle store, machinery store. So your workshop trigger is just here. And this is your spawn point and reset point. However, be warned, there are two spawn points. There's one here. And there's one round the back. So if you spawn a vehicle, if you buy something and it doesn't appear here and you're panicking, don't buy it again. And if you reset something and come back and think, hang on a minute, where is it? It could well be that it's around the back here. So just be aware of that. There are two spawn points here. Thank you, GB. Uh, and then if we come into here, we've got the main machinery store. So we've got a purchase point. I know not everyone uses it, but it's there. But what we've also got here if we go to that it says hedge collisions off so at the moment all the hedge collisions are on if you don't like hedge collisions you find them a pain you can come to here you get a bit of a machinery sound and the hedge collisions have been turned off but you can come back and turn them back on again so if you decide after a while actually you know what i should have put them, i should have left them you can come back sometimes it's irreversible so you can which is brilliant that's the first few points let's go and grab the pickup and let's head on We've got a lot to get through. Uh, before I head off in the pickup, I'm going to put some money in. Uh, I will see you in a moment and we will get cracking. Right, with that done, let's head off. We're going to go across the top of the map first, then we're going to come back and work our way round. It'll make sense as we go. Um, what I like about this map and what I liked about it before, the detail. Um, that makes it feel very English, very British, wrong side of the road, he <laughs> says, as he's on the wrong side of the road. Um, the road signs, road signs, the detailing, um, just it works really, really well. Now, something new, as we're turning just here, we've got liquid storage here, a liquid silo. Now, this is new. I'm not sure how much this holds. It says liquid silo, the silo is empty, but the silo is not available in build mode. I, was, I thought, oh, I'll go and have a look, because it will tell me what the capacity is. The only one that's there is the manure heap. If I go to silo extensions as well, there's not one there. So, I'm not sure. In all honesty, it's not one you can, you can click on and someone comes to fill it for you. You can put stuff in, take stuff out. But there is a liquid silo right here. I'm sure somebody would have already, by now tested it, filled it up and whatever, but there's liquid silo there. For your use. Actually, I'm wondering whether now's the best time to go that way. Probably closer. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm always down here. I was going to do this later on, but I'm going to do it now. Um, something not to miss, which is easy to miss, I'm not going to lie. As we was down here across the fields, there's a plot of land here, which has a sheep pasture on it. You can access it from the other side. There's a ford at the river. The ford's in the same place it was. There is a ford on the river. Again, I'm, that's, I'm speaking to people that have played this before. If you're new to the game, you've never seen this map before. So just down here, we've got 
some shed, hay loft, sort of thing, well, hay loft, a hay barn. And in here we've got a plot of land. So we go down to the map. We start across the top here. We've come along there. There's your liquid silo. We've come down here and we're now at this plot here. So that plot there will sit about 27,410. We buy that. We've got a sheep pen on there. Uh, this holds 75 sheep. It will require water because it's a pasture. But you put your food in. You put your water in. Dialogue box is there. Your trigger is just there. Got a little pasture here for some sheep. It's kind of out of the way of everything else. So it's, it's right in the middle. And I know when I played this the first time, I missed it completely. Um, and a few people messaged me and said, oh, did you know? Um, but, um, I do now. Thank you. I'll come back and close the gates later. Don't worry. So, now we go back up to the top of the map. It made more sense to do that bit now, I think. So, back across the crossroads. Now, I'm going to be honest. Sad times. There's, um, there's a bit that's been changed on here. <laughs> um, to fit in with production chains. But for me, oh, it's devastating. I'll show you that when we get there. I'll just suddenly remember. Let's get out of the road. National speed limit. Foot to the floor. Well, not quite to the floor, but no. There is a limit, but you know, it's flexible. The problem is, I'm, I'm now retool. I've, this is one of the only maps, with this and probably Six Ashes, where I've done Let's Plays on before that I would like to and be happy to come back on, because I would like to do it a different way and have a different farm and that kind of stuff. Now, on the previous version, this gate was openable. If we look at the map, we've already talked about... Um, field prices but as far as verges and periphery go if we click there we've got all the roadways and a lot of the areas where the sell points are that's zero you can buy that for nothing which means for doing placeables and things if you want to whatever it might be along roads and things like that you can but it also gets you this massive strip across the top here now the only way to access that strip is through this gateway very small machinery now when i did my let's plan this before <laughs> I cut all of that. I cut it. I tethered it. Did I bail it or just collect it? I can't remember now. Um, I think I bailed it because it was free, um, which was a bit nuts. But there is also on the map, uh, where are we? If we click on that, there's the periphery. Now, that's 158 million. I'm not sure if you'd be desperate to have that, but if you wanted to, you could put some money in and buy that. Just to be aware, you can buy the verges and the periphery separately. If we go up to here, uh, the gate... We go, bang. Open gate. It, the, 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 the opening's not huge. So, I suppose with the Antonio Carrero stuff, that might work. I'm just trying to think of stuff that you could get through the gap. And look at this. All this grass. It's all here. All here for the taking. I did it. I'd been hired by the park you know, to come in and do some work and cut the grass and do some bailing. And so that's what I did. Let's stay on the verge for the moment. Because we're at Mr. Splits. Mr. Splits Furniture. Now this was Mr. Splits Firewood before. And this was a gold mine. Because the price for wood chips on this map was insanely good. However, that's not the case anymore. Um, you bring your lumber here. This is your carpenters. And you'll see a lot of stuff like this as we go around the map. Which there's some very, very funny stuff that GB's put in and that I absolutely love. So, we come inside here, we've got our sell wood point. So, you take your wood to there and you click on there, come into this side. This is bits of furniture, so you can buy it and then we come around to the other side. Oh no, it's still that side, isn't it? What I'm talking about. Um, yeah, furniture wood, furniture planks, so that's your carpentry. So it's no longer a wood chip sell point. I'm gutted. That was one of the ways I made my fortune on the map. We, we did very well on here. Come on, close game. Okay. So Mr. Splits Furniture. 
So like I say, the actual production chain stuff has been integrated so well into the map, which we're going to see more of in a moment. And the other thing as well is um, things blended together, which we're going to see in a moment. I have to speed things up a little bit because there's still a lot to get, get around and see. So, turning in here. People aren't too bothered about traffic, are they? So, we've got the old water mill and we've got um, sweet potato sell point. So, the old water mill. It's basically a grain mill, but it's not just a grain mill. So stuff goes in here, pallets was born here. To buy it will cost 96 grand, so I'm going to buy it because I want to show you. We can do flour, wheat flour, barley flour, oat flour, sorghum flour, and oil. So sunflower oil, canola oil, and olive oil. So this is your grain mill and oil mill all wrapped into one. So if you've been looking around trying to work out where you're going to do that, it's all done here at the old water mill. Fantastic. And then we've got sweet potato next door. This is for your potato and sugar beet sales. Just here. That's sweet potato. Keep trying to look at the, uh, the logos and things for the companies. Because they're, very, they're very good. So what I'm going to do now is head back where we just came. Uh, and we're going to go down to one of the farms one of the first farms we're going to look at. So we're right over here. We did Mr. Splits. We're over here. We're going to go all the way back across the top. We're going to go down past these and we're going to do this farm here. Malt House Farm. And then we're going to come down because it just works the best way for the sell points. So I'll see you back down there in a minute. And we'll talk about Malt House Farm, which has also had some interesting changes. So heading past the vehicle shop, we go down to Malt House Farm. We've got St. Eater's church just over there and the roads named after various different places around uh, St Aetis Road I think it's just here but anyway yeah the farm itself now on the map it shows um, home points which look like sleep triggers if we go to the map you'll see there you've got a sleep trigger there we've got a couple elsewhere uh, where are we one there and one there those take you to those places there's not a sleep trigger here but this is Moore House Farm we go back to the map so to buy Malt House Farm, we'll set it back 456,870, but you do get Field 3 and Field 12 as well as the farm itself. So we're going to buy that, go down and back up, and we get all of these triggers appear. So not only have we now got that trigger, we've got a vehicle workshop, we've got a fuel point, we've got a silo. Uh, if we open the gates, uh, sorry, just took a bit of time. So to the right-hand side, we've got horses. This will do 14 horses. Your dialogue box is here. And then inside here, you've got your feed point and your stalls and stuff inside here. Plenty of storage. Come round, we've got a silo. I'm not sure what the capacity of the silo is, in all honesty. But we do have a silo here. Carrying on, we've got a 10,000 litre fuel tank. This is in the mods. Uh, this is medium petrol tank. Uh, I say 10,000 litres, it's empty at the moment, there's two or three of these around the map as well. More barn and building space, all around here for storing your vehicles. We've got a workshop trigger, just tucked in here, and a wardrobe trigger as well, there's a cupboard there for changing your clothes, should you wish. We've got pigs. The pigs here, 270 pigs can be held here. Held here, they sell their hostages. <laughs> you can have here um, you got your water uh, your feed trigger water's not required sorry points there the only thing is I think you'll need to put manure heap in these are here but they're not showing on the map as being an independent manure heap so you may have to place a manure heap here um, for that to work now here's the cracking thing about this which is a big change these were all fixed in place on the previous versions so the farms were here there's nothing wrong with that now, that's what I'm saying about be careful. The animal pens are fixed in place as well. But if we're going to build mode, go to landscaping and go to demolish. All of these buildings can be removed. So if you want to have your farm here, but you don't want the farm like this, you can remove pretty much everything, including the animal pens. So be warned, because they're not available in the animal pens, as I've just done, 
if you do that and say anything, oh, uh, you know, don't save the game. <laughs> come back out, come back. But if you've already saved your game, you're not going to be able to put those specific ones back in. But you might not want to. But that's a huge change because it means the farm areas, you can now set up however you want if you don't want the stuff that's on them. If you want a different horse stable here or you want some different sheds or a different silo or something like that, it's all sellable. Now, some of them on some of the map, or some of the maps, on some of the farms, aren't. There's a couple of buildings, I think the farmhouses themselves, you can't sell. But they're not sleep triggers, so you can put your sleep trigger anywhere you want. You can use the doormat that's on here, or you can use um, anyone you've got modded. But that's Small House Farm. Yeah. So. I don't think I missed anything on there. I was trying to remember what the silo capacity was in the previous version, but it could well have changed anyway. The silo is there. So, now we're heading out and around. That's a change for me stopping to look for traffic, don't I? Don't do that very often. It's all the signage. Think bike and, you know, it's brilliant. So we're going to turn down here. Next point we're going to come to is Atcham Fishing Club. Now this again was on the pre- oh, sort of <laughs> We're going to Atcham Fishing Club. I turned this into a full campground last time. I loved it. It's brilliant. Um, once purchased, this will pay you an hourly amount because you own it. So people are paying to come fishing, so you get a little bit of money. So we've come from the farm here, up the road, out across the bridge, driven down here, and we're now here. If we click on that, 36,360 to buy, and you will earn a bit of income every hour. It's really nice, there's tents and stuff already there, a couple of little landings as well to do your fishing. Fantastic. Right, onwards we come to Atcham Livestock. Try and look at my notes and drive at the same time. There you go. Hatcham Livestock Sales. As you can see, you've got the cows in the field. They've got plenty of feed. They're not producing anything, but they are there to look awesome. Dialogue box for your animals is here for buying and selling. Over here, we've got bale sales. So, sale point there. So, that's um, Hatcham Livestock Bales. And then we've got purchasing. So if you want to come and buy manure and slurry, you can. So you can come to here and you can buy manure and slurry, which is quite handy. But if you come up the steps here, you'll see top left, the trigger comes up saying animal dialogue box. So I can sell, I mean, technically I could sell those cows. I could also buy more, but if they're not producing anything, so I don't know whether you can, I don't think you can take them out. Which is odd, because I thought, well, if they're producing milk and stuff, maybe you can come and get the milk. If you just put a load more cows in there. But I couldn't find anywhere. It's, I don't know, it's interesting. Maybe people have, have do a bit of a deep dive on that. Maybe I would, I don't know. Um, as soon as they're completely stocked with um, with water and feed, well, you won't have to do anything with regards to water and feed. But that field around there is also potentially, this is part of the verges, if you buy this, that if you've got hedge collisions off, you could technically go through there and cut all the grass if you wanted to. Again, I know it's a bit dodgy, but I'm just you know, highlighting things on the map. Right, let's carry on south to the biggest cluster of sale points. And again, some really interesting changes to buildings and integrations of buildings. I haven't had my wheel and pedals set up for so long. Someone asked me the other day what I'm using. I actually bought a new wheel and pedals set for when Gran Turismo came out. But I haven't tried to see if it's compatible with um, with Farming Simulator yet. Hmm. Up here we've got county stores, which is just to the right. 
that's all changed. I'm sure it's got the brick wall there before, and retaining wall. I don't think it did. I'm trying to think. And we've got the gas station, petrol station. From the petrol station, past little post office, lets me went, whoa, 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 what was wrong on the roundabout? Easy, tiger. We turn in here. We're coming to Lower Cross Indoor Market. Now, Lower Cross Indoor Market, some of these cell points have two cell points. As far as I can tell, um, one is for palleted items and one is for sort of grain type items, as, as far as I can tell, because they're down on the menu as just one cell point. If we go, I'm trying to find what this is, Lower Cross, Lower Cross Indoor Market, just there. So things like potatoes, and if we go up, where was one that said lower cross? There we go, lower cross indoor market for olives, grapes. So yeah, those are on pallets. So I think one will be for pallets and one will be for uh, loose materials. If we just pull up there and nip through the gap, we've got Sunrise Bakery. Sunrise Bakery is 125,000. The prices of these are sat a little bit higher on some of them because this will do bread, cake, and cereal. So this is combined your bakery and your cereal factory together. So you're getting two buildings combined, two production chains combined in there, um, which is pretty cool. But all of the things there to do both, so bread, cake, or cereal, can all be done here at Sunrise Bakery. Next door, we've got this little plot. We'll come back to the map and I'll show you where we are. So we've come down there. Uh, went past the livestock market, we've done that, so we've done those there, we've done that one. We're now at this plot here by field 47. If you buy this plot, and do that, we've got a large greenhouse, so you've got that little field next to it, field 47, and you've got a large greenhouse there if you want it. 12,780 for the plot, it's pretty good really, you get a field and you get the greenhouse as well. So that's Sunrise Bakery and Cereal Factory all thrown into one like I say I just the way it's been done it all just fits it doesn't it doesn't feel like oh look here are the production chains from the base game plonk you know um, there's a lot of attention to detail has gone into it which I think it's absolutely brilliant so continuing we have got the sawmill. Just here. Lower cross sawmill. Selwood just there. Across the way here is your point. So lower cross sawmill, 100,000. That'll cost you. That's for the greenhouses. This one will just do wood planks. It's a regular sawmill. 2,400 cycles per month. Up the back there, that is a sell point for wood chips. So that's a separate cell point. That's lower cross sawmill uh, wood chip. So that's actually a cell point, which is quite nice. So that's where you sell your chips now, but the price isn't that great. We've got GD skips, always full of rubbish. Ah, dear. Around this side of this building, we've got the sugar shack. So this is your sugar mill. Sugar beet, sugar beet cut, sugar cane. Pallets was born there. This side we've got another workshop trigger. DNG Auto Repairs is here with its prices. This is, I like this from the previous version, it was very clever, very funny. <laughs> uh, and then through here we've got the great processing unit. We've got the dairy, lower cross dairy tucked in here. Pallets were spawned at the front, products delivered there. Now, interesting with this, I think rather than adding something, I think we've lost something. Got butter and cheese, but no chocolate. Um, yeah, I just was going to check. That's interesting that the sugar shack does sugar cane sugar, but I'm pretty sure it says that there's no sugar cane on the map. Um, Custom seasonal growth plan with cotton and sugarcane removed. Yeah, so okay, that's. I mean, hmm. 
not that it matters. No, I don't have this anywhere to do because I'm sure the dairy's. They do butter, cheese, and chocolate, don't they? Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, a regular dairy. In the UK, a, a regular dairy will just do things like that. It won't, generally speaking, don't do chocolate. I mean, that is a generalisation. I'm sure someone will point out one that has or does or will do in the future. Right, that's all that cluster of cell points just here. Then we come out to British Brain. That only makes me smile. There was an old advert years ago for British Gas and somewhere in the advert they changed around called British Bass. I don't, I don't know why, I can't remember now. It was when I was a much younger man. So this one here, British Grain, it's right where I thought British Grain. I'm having one of those funny five minutes. British Grain cell point is here. Lovely. Tucked away just there. So where have we been for all of these? Well, we did all of those. We came out. Uh, we did the sawmills. We did the sugar shack. d and auto repairs. Great processing unit and lower cross dairy. And like I say that one up there. It's lower cross sawmill wood chip. That's a separate one. That's a cell point. We're just here at the moment. We're now going to head out to the next farms. So that's the, the main cluster of cell points. Although we have got one more to go and see. An absolute legend. Mrs. Holland. Force of nature, that woman. Anyway. Right, following this road out. As you see bottom left on the map. We're going to head out and have a quick look at the biogas plant, which is what we start with the new farmer. And when we get there, we're going to talk about slot count, because that's relevant there. I mean, it's relevant anywhere, I guess, but more relevant there, let's just say that. So this is the field you start with on the left-hand side of the new farmer, with this little bit of forestry here. This has been changed to the right. What I like about this, on my, on my, on my let's play before, I built a kind of shortcut with a bridge going in, but that's been changed quite a bit, so it's actually could be easier to do that. Although I couldn't remove the fence, I did have a try to see if I could remove the fence, and it wouldn't let me. So, biogas partners here, drive through silage camp this time, and here's all the rest of the machinery that we start with. But you don't own it. The only thing you own, as I said, is this pickup truck. All of that is leased. So you've got all the stuff here to start doing your silage operation but you will be charged for it for using it which is pretty cool so slot count on new farmer is 1095 uh, that's one go down and here's our start machinery so owned items to pick up leased items John Deere 7810 JCB tally handler we've got a rear mower wind rower forage wagon tally handler tool bucket so enough to just get some silage work done um, you can get rid of all that and do other stuff if you want to. We've got the side of uh, the um, biogas plant, standard biogas plant, silage, slurry, manure, sugar beet cut. Nothing out of the ordinary about the processing speeds or anything like that. And then we have got one of the 10,000 litre fuel tanks just there that can be filled up as well. I think we have that bit of forestry behind it as well, don't we? Let me just double check that. Uh, so we've now come up, we're here. Yeah, so you've got that bit of forestry behind there as well as that bit of forestry there. So you do start with a little bit. So you could, if you didn't want to start with biogas work initially, or you want to do a bit of both, you could do a bit of forestry um, as well, maybe to bring a bit of income. That, of course, would be your choice. So, swing around. We're going to head to Brompton Farm. This is what we're saying about doing this map again. I think on the, on the later versions of this, didn't it have carrots and onions? I'm sure it did carrots and onions on here. Um, and I, Brompton Farm was my sort of farm that I chose and sort of set up at. And I just didn't, I'm just thinking, you know, if I did it again, would I go and set up at a different farm and do something differently, not have the biogas plant? And if you didn't have that, how would you make money to get going? Woodchip was the big one that you could make a ton of money doing woodchip. So, we're going to pull up here. Brompton Farm is just here. So on the map, we are there. Like I said, we've got, we've got the trigger there, but that just takes you to it. Click on there. 213,200 for the main farmer, field 34, which isn't too bad. Let's buy that, and then you'll see all the triggers appear. 
So, we have got a large greenhouse just there. We come down around behind these buildings. We've got chickens. Uh, how many chickens was this? 30, I think it is. Got plenty of storage space, building space. 30 chickens. Feed trough and pallets will spawn there. We come around the sides here. We've got another fuel tank. Workshop trigger. And then as we go down to the bottom here, we have got the cow pen. Cow pasture. This will do... How many cows was this? 200, I think it is. Slurry point there. Milk point there. Yeah, 200. It does uh, water automatically. And you've got this large open pasture here. Now, obviously, if you've got hedge collisions off... Actually, I don't know. Let me just check something. See if we just bought that. Can I remove... I know you can take off the hedge collisions, but can you remove... I don't think you can remove the hedges, can you? So I thought if you could just remove a section of the hedge and put a fence in instead, a gate in, but you can't remove those either. Um, not that you necessarily need a, a, a cut through, but... There you go. Okay, that the sound in the background, I don't know if you can hear it or not. The new washing machine is going, um, and my daughter's decided to store their drinks bottles on top of it. <sighs> Sounds like a processing plant at a milk bottle factory. Bear with me a second. Well, that was certainly interesting. <laughs> okay, note to self, can't put anything on top of the washing machine. So, continuing. The main farmhouse is here. And again, you can put a doormat or, you know, but again, this is, I think, one of the ones if we go to landscape and demolish. You can remove, again, pretty much everything on there, as you can see. Uh, but you can't remove the farmhouse, I don't think. No. So you can put a sleep trigger with it. I think that one goes chicken pen might do but so you can remove all the stuff again a big change and i think can make it a lot more flexible i like that from here it feels i don't know again i do this every single time it feels crisper and cleaner and tidier. The megabyte count is high, but then the work that's been done to integrate everything in the production chains, um, it just feels very good. It's, it's very well done. Um, GB Modding's up there as, for me. It's one of those the top map makers. They're very, very good at doing this. So, Mrs. Holland. We're here, Mrs. Holland's Village Shop. Again, there's one cell point front and rear of the shop. Again, I would say for loose and then palleted. In fact, you've got a pallet around the back there with potatoes on it. Kind of gives you the indication of that's going to be palleted items. Then from here, we head out to the next farm. Now this one's called Crossfields Dairy, but it's because it's a dairy farm. It's not actually a, a dairy in that it's a production chain. It is the farm. I'll show you on the map where we've been and where we are. And this is an area of the, the map I didn't really come to. When I did my Let's Play, I didn't really come out here at all. So Crossfields Dairy, farmhouse there. Again, the farmhouse can't be sold on this, but everything else can once you own the plot of land. I'm just going to stop there a second. Hop out. So we've done around Brompton Farm, Mrs. Holland's, and we've now driven all the way out here, and we're here. So we click on that. That will set you back 459,000, but you do get all of that. Field 25, field 26, field 27, and the pastures just here. So we do that. Again, all the triggers appear. So as we come in and around here, plenty of barn and building space. As you can see, we do have a workshop trigger. And wardrobe just in there coming around we've got the cows this one does 300 cows I think it is there we go yeah 300 cows we've got your milk point there your slurry point just there I 
assuming that's... That's your slurry point. Is that a silo? Yeah, Crossfields Dairy Silo. There we go. Uh, fuel per tank again, 10,000 litre, which is empty. That's the cow portion of this. Water trough is full already. You don't need to put water in, but you will need to feed and bedding. And again, you will need to put in a, a manure heap if you want to get the manure from the cows. And then we've got sheep as part of this farm as well. come all the way out here it's all inclusive can open that door into if you want to so sheep here we'll do 200 sheep you know, a box there we go 200 sheep actually I'm going to buy one because I wanted to check something our water, uh, water trough is just there because it's a sort of pasture. You know, your feed trough is just there. And then your pallets of wool will spawn over here in this little area. Just there. And more storage space. Again, these buildings can be sold. So if you want to put something else here instead, you can, or another silo, or storage, or whatever you can. There's that poor sheep all its own. The only reason I wanted to do that was because... I was curious. No, I just thought I'd double check because it's um, Crossfields Dairy. I know you've got the, the main portion of it is the cows, but I know on a couple of maps you've had sheep where you can get sheep's milk, and I just wondered whether or not it was one of those. It's always worth a check, you never know. That's always a nice feature as well the fact that the actual open and close for the gate is actually f fixed to the gate. So you just go to the end of the gate as if you're closing it yourself. It's a nice touch. So that's Attingham Park. It's made its return. It has all the feel and looks of the previous version. It, it feels familiar, it feels nice. If you've never played in the map, it won't, obviously, but because of the entire Let's Play on here, it, it has that really lovely feel to it. And then all the things that have been changed to integrate the production chains, I think has worked really well. The ability to be able to remove buildings around the farm areas as well, massive change and, and it will have a massive impact on how people play it and how they change things. I'm just checking my sheet to make sure I haven't missed anything. Um, I don't think, actually that was someone to check, I don't think there's any collectibles, no, on the right hand side there it doesn't say anything about collectibles. We go back to the map, so we're now out here, at the sheep, and that's the map, we've been around the whole thing. There is the ford just here, um, I when I did it I put a bridge in across there, you can put bridges in all different places, of course you can, it's entirely up to you. Um, but that's Attingham Park for Farming Simulator 22 by GB Modding. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.